what's up everybody I'm back and in this video as you can see right here I have the new Varus kayaks gladiator this is the gladiator 2 by the way not the original gladiator there is two versions of the gladiator there's a gladiator and gladiator 2 I'm down here off the banks of the Koei Olympic section I'm getting ready to do a lap in the um, on the middle section but what I wanted to do first is a nice little detailed walkthrough for you guys so you can kind of like see what their various gladiator looks like uh, before I get it on the water. I will be doing an on-water review today. It's going to be more detailed because not a lot of people know more, know much about this boat. I have paddled the Vera uh, Hellbender on the upper golly, but, it, and so if you guys want to check out my, my Hellbender review, my walkthrough and review on that, you could, I'll leave links at that at the end of the uh, video here. And everybody, stick around to the end of this video because I've went over this boat already with a fine tooth comb from stern to bow before I did this walk through just to kind of like see how the, the assembly's done the rota molded I like to see you know since it is a new company and people don't know a lot about it I wanted to see exactly what was going on with it I'm gonna go ahead and start here at the stern and just work my way up the drain plug I am not a fan if you guys know this I am not a fan of the screw-in type drain plug piranha uses them that will break pretty easy yeah I've seen this drain plug before this this drain plug you know it works it doesn't leak it, it's good so it works but I wish it was more recessed that is very high out of there uh, what they should do they should recess this down very slightly so that doesn't get broken off right there moving forward you can see nice aluminum grab handles I'm a big fan of metal grab handles these are going into brass inserts they do have Loctite on them how do I know because I took them out and looked at them so this is a uh, like etched in so they've got that etched in various I like seeing the logo that little attention to detail these handles are nice they feel strong they feel safe I'm very I like these handles a lot so good job on various on these handles I wish they was a little more recessed they are kind of curved up they have an arch to them it's easy to get the hand in all of them they did a good job on that uh, gladiator I if it was me I would have went gladiator and put like 2.0 here this does not have a 2.0 on it and by the way this is a this boat belongs to a buddy of mine Matt Wyland he also has a YouTube channel and he's a lot lighter than me and he done a full review on this so if you guys want go ahead and check out his channel where he talked about this boat but he this is his personal boat he bought this new so this is not a demo this is not a prototype this is a hundred percent a new boat straight from the factory so everything on this boat is exactly how you would purchase it so this only has maybe three runs on it <laughs> so I'm gonna have the fourth run on it today but yeah <laughs> I just wanted to get that out of the way but yeah going on forward they do have these ridges in here these things do two things this uh, this ridge right here it adds structure to this area so it does help add structure and it also helps hold that that uh, foam pillar in place from swapping side to sides. These should have been a little deeper. That is very, very minimal. I don't know if these will do much in there. I would have went a little deeper with those and probably run them down a little bit. Uh, look at look at boats like the Liquid Logic. They they're the king at going with these high like um, molded in wall holders. Dagger uses a screw to hold it down, which is you know way more secure but what Varus also did they screwed it in here they have it screwed in here into a bracket so that will help too so I think that would have probably been enough and um, I, I it's firm I, I'm not gonna gripe too much about that one thing I will go on about with you guys just to, to note I did um, make an attempt to paddle one of these boats in the past what had happened to me the back band this piece right here the design of this back band had it's it was like the pressure on this buckle snapped so the whole back band broke off with me and I was kind of like I, I was borrowing it it was a, a friend of mine I was using his boat and I didn't get a chance to really get to put the boat through its paces so I figured I would wait and see what uh, various see what they kind of did as an upgrade so I can tell you this looks like an upgrade that they've done this is a fix to the breaking back band right here they've added this little dual cam lock which 
I think that's a pretty smart thing to do. What happened was this was this is like very weak plastic. All the stress, so you go to do the stern squirt, all the stress is on that little piece and it breaks really easy. What I think they've, so this is what they've done as a fix. They've added this. If you guys don't have that, hit up Verus, tell them to send you one of these. I think this is a good innovative way of fixing this. You basically just, just now you can tighten it down like that and then slide this through, which is good because I think Waka doesn't have adjustment back here at all. If you guys notice, by the way, this is all Waka outfitting, whether um, they like to admit it or not. This is seat adjustment, seat. Uh, I think it's a different seat. This is bigger on the Waka, this area. The seat, the way it mounts into the pillars, all of that, the way the back band is. But one thing they did, they have adjustment back here, and the Waka doesn't have adjustment back here. I don't think. Uh, you guys leave in the comments. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember if you can adjust the walker back there. So yeah, they have a nice adjustment right here. This right here, I think, will work. I think that fixes that um, issue they had here. What goes right through there? That's nice. That'll work. Moving on up, they have this roller molded seat. They've got attachments here. They've got some security attachment here. This pad, I would like to see where you could add under this pad. This is um, they could have done maybe some sort of like twist lock in the future I'd like to see a pad that you could lift up and slide foam under because if anyone smaller wanted to upgrade this pad and lift it up they you couldn't take that off you'd have to kind of like figure out some way of doing it hip pads I'm not a big fan of these wraparound style hip pads uh, Piranha uses them few other company uses them I'm just not a fan of them eventually people will figure out and start copying dagger and putting clips on the side velcro on the back and let it attach here dagger has the best hip pads it's no problem it's okay if, if guys want to copy them I would it works it works really good seat adjustment the seat adjustment is just like the Waka and the Zet it's a screw that comes out here and you have a series of inserts and it's not the easiest thing to do, but I was able to do it. I did move the seat back one notch just to see if I could adjust it. And we'll see how it kind of paddles with the seat a little further back. Because I think this boat, looking at its width, I think it needs to be back on that tail a little more. Not the easiest thing. I would like to see a washer on that instead of just a screw. That, that would be a nice upgrade to do on that. It's just a quarter 20. And everything on this boat looks like everything is adjusted with a phillips head screwdriver so as long as you got a phillips head screwdriver you're, you're good on everything but what's strange is you're good on everything but these bolts <laughs> you can't adjust these bolts for whatever reason they used a um i think a number four allen head on these bolts and everything else has um phillips head screws all right moving on up looking at the back band this could have been trimmed a little better this looks like this is like a hole saw where they've just hole sawed into it and they've used a dremel here that could have had a little more cleaner edge on that they look like they've dremeled that out and then hole sawed that and passed that through this is actually a good way of doing a back band i am a fan of that that works extremely well um you know ratcheted nice ratcheted these are IR ratchets yeah so this is an IR buckle and an IR ratchet uh, it's kind of like the standard liquid logic dagger they use them it's kind of like the standard around these ratchets work I like the piranha ones they're metal and um, I'm not a big fan of the plastic ones these do break these do pull out and looking the way I can see right here on how they did that washer they this is a hundred percent um, taken from wherever the dagger ones are coming from they're just buying the same ones coming from dagger and I'm seeing that washer because that washer is not needed and I've griped about that for a while about that washer but I do like this stitching the way they stitched it that's good it's a good idea the way they stitch it back bands comfortable I said in it back band feels good it, it's nice and padded one thing I would like to see is some up and down adjustment it does not have anything holding it down. I would like to see a buckle right here holding it down a little better, but you know what? I'm sure it works fine. Like I said, hip pads. Hip pads, you just put shims in the bottom. You just open that up and put a shim. I think it came with a couple little shims, but it, that's all it came with. Nice area for a throw rope. I'm a fan of this area right here. I would like to utilize this area more too for something, but this works well. This works well for adjustable bungee. It's got that little clip lock right there. You can put a water bottle under there, throw rope, whatever. One thing I did see 
setting in this boat, I did notice these are extremely flexible. I think there should be some sort of rigid, some sort of structure added to this, or they could go into the mold and, and make that where it molds because this is a production boat. This, these things feel very flexible. My thighs feel like they would just come right out of that. And setting in it, you can kind of see right there, that's not much contact on my legs. I would like to see that a lot more rigid. Looking at this, they could have cleaned that wall up. This looks like the edging. What that is, that's the edging of the mini cell foam. They should have trimmed that up and it looks to be, that might be a three inch, maybe a little under three inches right there. They just use the slot, so this slot moves along the inside of the seat when you adjust it. They do have the bracket holding the wall in place. That feels nice and safe. But check this out, guys. One thing I did notice that they are doing, I don't know if you can see that in there. I don't know how well you guys can see down in there. But check that out, everybody. That's an adjustable plate. That right here is an adjustable plate, which this is definitely a hundred percent the old style that dagger used to do in the mambas and the older back in the day this is just a abs plastic piece with slots that goes up i do like the fact that they are using an adjustable bulkhead to try to fill this area up it did not come with foam so you have you have to get your own foam and i would suggest lifting these up and foaming that out and by the way this just these two screws just go into this bar not an insert so be careful careful taking these all the way out I took them and I kept screwing them and they fell out and it was a nightmare to get these back in I had to take the whole bulkhead out just to get those screws lined back up so be careful if you're adjusting this by the way <laughs> so yeah um, yeah but I do like the fact that they are doing that it could be a little bigger could be a little better there's still a big void up here but yeah good job on Varus by putting a um, adjustable toe cup that I'm a big fan of these I just wish they had some sort of big piece of foam to go on top of it they should supply that that. but yeah good job on that guys I do like this this is a little bit of a, a drainage port but it's also a good spot to put your hands to get out of the boat I would like to see some texture right here to kind of like it gets very slippery and your hands will slide off but it's a nice flat area to get in and out of the boat I do like that I like that little thing right there went over the bulkhead but check this out so so I went to adjust the bulkhead and one thing I noticed was you can see the screws here screw through and I went to take these off I noticed there's no rubber washers on these screws so then I went to take this off and these little poly knobs here and check this out here's the rubber washers I don't know why I don't know maybe this one is assembly era but why are they putting the rubber washers here look at that there's the bolt that needs a washer on it by the way that should have some sort of metal washer on it and this this washer should be on the outside behind this that could be an assembly error if it's designed this way i don't know why because that rubber washer is not doing anything you can see right there but yeah that confused me but i'm gonna leave it like that because maybe it doesn't leak maybe they know something i don't you guys leave in the comments below if you if you have this boat and it it's dry ride or or wet ride but see how it kind of yeah those go on nicely nice quarter 20 poly knobs right in there and there is foam here it's a really thick piece of foam but it thins out right here so yeah that's um that's the bulkhead setup it's not bad it's a really good bulkhead i just think they need to change some things and one thing i did notice for whatever reason they use two sizes of screw here i think maybe they just that was another uh assembly era where they they didn't have the one inch looks like they went with a three quarter for whatever reason maybe that's the way it's supposed to be maybe it's supposed to be like that graphics are nice graphics are nice molding graphics those are nice another big nice handle once again i'd like to see it a little more recessed but i do like the handle this is a this this also adds structure up here and helps hold that foam wall in place nice area right there those are deeper you notice those are deeper than the back so that's a lot more rigid nice handle up front you can see that and you can see how this boat comes down to a point right here 
it comes down to this point. One other thing I noticed when I'm sitting in it, it doesn't have much of a cutout in the wall. The foam wall needs more of a cutout along the bottom because my heels are resting right up on the foam. So that could use more of a cutout right there. If I, if I had this boat, I would take a knife and cut all of that foam out so my heels go down in there. Just another little thing that you know can be improved on. All right, that's pretty much all I got on the assembly and the building of it. I'll, I'll go over the shape of it. Looking at it, you're gonna see how the shape of this thing is. Nice, big, flat area that's flattened, spooned out rockered up high rocker here with volume back here for balance very wide behind the hips which is going to make me curious how hard this thing is to throw down look how wide the thing is behind the hips and uh, speaking of width i'm thinking going over the specs i think the specs on this i think it's eight foot eleven and it comes in around about 27 inches which is really wide for a half slice boat and I'll leave the specs up. I'll throw the specs up on the screen so you guys can go over the specs. And I will compare this to a Ripper. I, ha I have a Ripper Medium with me today. I'm going to compare it to the Ripper Medium. So you guys stick around and I'll um, show you some, some comparisons of some more modern boats today also. They say on their, on their website this thing is 43 something pounds. I don't know. I think it's around that. This boat weighs 52 pounds, 53 pounds. I don't know if it's a heavy layup or it was a mistake in the factory. How do I know that it's 53 pounds? Because I put it on a scale and I weighed it. Because when I picked it up, I was like, dude, I've handled a thousand kayaks. This is not a 40 something pound kayak. This is well over 50 pounds. Maybe this is a heavy layup. Maybe in the factory they put a little extra resin in it, but it is definitely over 50 pounds it's 52 something pounds when i had it on the scale so i did weigh the boat just to verify that i was right and i was almost spot on on the weight but yeah looking at that you can see the width there cockpit sizing it is a large cockpit this is a very wide open cockpit i'm not sure the actual dimensions on it but it's a very wide open cockpit it's wide open but there's not a lot of room right here so they have the weight range from like 120 to like 260 which i think a boat like this this design can definitely take that kind of weight range but a 260 pound man's gonna have i'm i'm right at about 175 180 and i feel i'm gonna be in the sweet spot but it's a little low right here on my thighs that is a little low and i move the seat back and still it's a little low right there on my thighs that area it, it would be hard if you had any bigger legs than me you're gonna you're gonna struggle with that part right there and these are non-adjustable so you kind of get what you get moving on you can see how it tapers out it's very wide and then it tapers in very sharply with not a lot of rocker in the bow so Varus went a little opposite than what other boats like the um, check out Matt's review when he compared it to the Waka Goat you can definitely see the drastic difference between a boat like the Goat and this there's not a lot of rocker here it comes straight out which tells me it's probably going to be fast and you're going to have to get your rocker from loading the tail like I do a lot in the um the ripper that's not a bad thing to have that one thing i don't like is how it comes down to more of a point here um i'd like to see that a little wider up here but uh, it, that's what makes it that's pretty much all i got on the deck i'm gonna roll it over you can see see the tail look at that that is very small and there's no serial number on this boat i couldn't find a serial number there is no serial number etched on the entire boat so I don't, I don't think that's a good practice to do is not serial number your boats. I looked around the rim. I looked at this little tiny area here. There's no serial number on it at all. But yeah, you can see how this tail is. Look at that tail. There's the whole sidewall, all of your volumes right there. And it comes down to that point. So if you guys see how cool these patterns is on the bottom of this, the reason for that, Varus molds their kayaks hull down and set a deck down. Companies like Piranha, Dagger, and I think probably Jackson too, they mold them cockpit down and the definition is on the top. But then one of the drawbacks of that, me knowing rotor molding, I can tell you one of the drawbacks is it's a little more difficult to get plastic to the hull to get it from the deck to the hull. These hulls, all of their resin is in the hull. Their hull is super stiff. 
this is super stiff on their hull, which is a good thing because if you bought this boat, the odds of it wearing out are pretty damn slim. You will paddle this boat for years. It is a super, super stiff boat on the hull. Deck side's a little weak, but I'm okay with a little less on the deck than the hull. Um, feels really good, really good and rigid. Their plastic feels solid. It is a very solid filling boat. And like I said, this is like three, three runs on it and it's scratching up nicely so we'll see how it kind of handles looking at the hull design you can see it's wide it's kind of like rounded slightly and then tapers off here rounded tapers off here rounded and then starting about right here it's a flat planing surface this is very flat that is a very flat planing surface with a with a soft soft almost zero edge rolling off there the edge is right here and then it softens out. So this is more of a kind of like a, a planing meets displacement. Look how rounded this area here is and it squares off and then it rounds really good right here. And, it, and getting about right here to about right here it's all flat, super flat. You could use this thing definitely as a table. It's that flat. You guys go over, check out my on-water review and my, my thoughts of the on-water. Um, I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you guys want to see that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got on the haul. I'm going to go ahead and bring the, the, the Ripper over, compare it to the Ripper. You can see the Gladiator here compared to the Ripper the medium ripper so this is a medium ripper beside the Varus gladiator 2 you can see how the ripper has a little more bow rocker and it's it's drastically different once again in their philosophies of design look at the width behind the hips on the gladiator compared to the ripper and the rewind's even smaller back there by the way so Varus took a, a an interesting approach to going very very wide right behind the hips to make it more of a river runner than so much of a player and see look how deep these piranhas are see that's what i'm talking about look how deep piranha went with their their wall holder there um yeah but look at that cockpits are piranha obviously always goes long with their cockpit this is like wider and you can see you can see the edging on the ripper where this doesn't have edging on it and how narrow this comes up the ripper stays the ripper's extremely fast kayak by the way the ripper stays narrow all the way back where this one is super narrow it's more narrow it's way more narrow than the ripper here and then it gets really wide all the way out but yeah that's pretty much it that's what i that's comparing it to the ripper there so yeah all right, everybody, that's it. That's all I got on the Varus Kayaks Gladiator 2 walkthrough. You guys leave in the comments below what you think of this boat and if this is something you own or if you've ever paddled this boat or if it's something you think you might want to get in the future. I like hearing from you guys. I like hearing what you have to say, but thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Woohoo! Let's do it. Hope that doesn't break.